This free step-by-step -step video comes to you directly from Haynes. You can complete more than 200 jobs on this vehicle when you purchase the complete Haynes online manual at haynes.com. Jack up the vehicle and securely support the front and rear of it with axle stands on a level surface. Remove the engine undershield if equipped. Note that the transmission must be refilled from below the vehicle, so make sure that the vehicle is supported in a level position. Position a suitable container beneath the transmission. Wipe clean the pan, then unscrew the drain plug located on the right hand side of the pan. Allow the fluid to drain into the container. Once the fluid has drained, clean the drain plug and also the opening on the pan. Fit a new seal on the drain plug, then refit it to the pan. Tighten it to the specified torque. Unscrew the inspection plug at the rear of the pan. Add the correct type of transmission fluid using a special tool until it runs out of the hole. The nozzle of the tool being used to add fluid must pass through the window in the deflector cap. With the gear selector in the park position, run the engine at idle speed until it reaches normal temperature. If necessary, add more fluid until it runs out of the inspection hole. Apply the foot brake pedal, then select each gear position with the selector lever, pausing for about 3 seconds in each position. Return the selector to position P. Ensure that the vehicle's road wheels are completely clear of the ground. At this stage, the VW technician connects the tester to confirm that the fluid temperature is between 35 degrees C and 40 degrees C. If the fluid level is checked when the temperature is too low, overfilling will occur. If the fluid level is checked when the temperature is too high, underfilling will occur. With the engine still running at idle speed, allow any excess fluid to run out of the overflow pipe. Switch off the engine, then clean the inspection plug and opening. Refit the inspection plug together with a new seal and tighten to the specified torque. Lower the vehicle to the ground.